Well, one more addition is she's also the Goodwill Ambassador for UN Women in India and in South Asia. We are so proud of this association that was established many years ago and we continue to have that association with Sanya. Sanya, please. I do, Sanya and I have been on a couple of panels uh, by now and I always have the same questions to ask but I'm going to ask you that again because I think everybody deserves to know your story from putting us on the map of tennis to taking courageous decisions in your personal professional life and now visibly mommy to be um well first of all thank you very much for having me here um like nisha said you and women and i go a few years ago actually and um it's obviously been a relationship that i probably cherish more than most other relationships i've had besides my parents uh, because the ideology that we have is exactly the same and what i've been taught by my parents um and that comes from you and women to me uh, my story is not as funny as tajimol so i apologize for that <laughs> but um, you know i or i'm not that great a storyteller but um it's a very simple story it, i started playing tennis when i was 6 years old at a time when uh, a girl playing tennis in hyderabad was unheard of uh, where i came from a uh, family full of cricketers including my dad and everybody that you name uh, we, i have including my husband now but um, <laughs> and um, when i uh, when we when my parents uh, actually said you know she's going to play she's going to play tennis and my aunts and uncles they were like ha theek hai khelne ja rahi hai lekin kali ho jayegi dekhna koi shaadi nahi karega i mean i was six guys like for for god sake right so um so my parents were like what does that mean like I'm, and i come from a family of two girls and that's it so till today even after everything that i've achieved or tried to achieve still when people uh, meet me and they say aapka koi bhai nahi hai and i say nahi and they're like are and i'm like No that's fine like <laughs> it's absolutely okay um because we've never felt that need you know which uh, like ma'am was earlier saying you know okay it's now i'm pregnant and every time i meet someone the first question is i re- or rather the dua is quote unquote ke oh ladka ho jaye main dua karunga i say bhai please mat karo ye dua ladki ho jaye dua karo kyun aap ladki ki dua kar rahe so that is the sort of mindset that we grow up with consciously or subconsciously and when we come out and try to speak about it we are labeled as feminists and for me that word just doesn't do it it doesn't do it because why is there no word for a man speaking about men's rights has has anyone thought about that never but when you speak about female rights or feminism feminism you're taking as a feminist and no i don't think i'm a feminist i think i'm a person who deserves equal opportunity like we all do whether you're a man whether you're a woman it does not matter what gender you are you should have equal opportunity it doesn't matter what i can do or what a man can do it that doesn't make us equal what makes us equal is the fact that we have the opportunity to do the same thing so for me that is the most important my parents always always taught me and my sister to um follow our dreams no matter how unconventional they were you know that meant oh my god wearing short skirts and playing tennis and getting dark and you know and risk of not ever getting married but um <laughs> and we have i uh, my sister has become a business business woman which is completely different to me and i was a tennis player i am a tennis player right now i'm a mother but um and it has been a pleasure and an honor to grow up in my family but i realized that how privileged we were to come from that family because of the amount of people in this forget country in the world it might be a bit more pronounced in this country but it's all over the world 
still today we fight for equal prize money. We have to justify why as tennis players we should make the same prize money that the men do. So that means this inequality is everywhere in the world. It's not just in this part of the world. Um, so I just like to say that today I've become a fan of this little girl. And um, well, one of the reasons is of course because of who she is and the way she spoke. And I wish I had her sense of humor. But um, more because I come from a Muslim family, a conservative family and from a small city of Hyderabad. Um, at least then when, when, I, when I thought of playing tennis. And I can only imagine how hard it must have been for her parents. I can just, I mean, my parents, I thought my dad, you know, is the greatest hero because he stood up against everyone and said that I don't care. They used to mock my parents and say, what do you think that your daughter is going to become Martina Hingis? And fate had it that I had to win three of my grand slams with Martina Hingis. So, <laughs> so, and I can just imagine what her dad must have gone through to fight against her. And it was not even a sport that was, let's say, whatever they say, boyish or girlish. I mean, it was something to do with martial arts which is not something that you see a lot of girls doing so it is an extremely difficult thing to do and all my respect sir all my respect but ab chanta na mariye usko lekin all my respect and wholeheartedly as a woman i feel so proud to be sharing this stage and uh, to be here today and i just want to say that like Nishtha told us, I don't think 2089 should be a goal or a number at all in our heads. You know, I, I, if I had a choice, 2030 wouldn't be a number, but um, you know, we have to be realistic. So let's all try to work towards that number, at least to have a number in mind and work towards that. And tomorrow, whether I have a boy or a girl, I, I think it's very important for a woman and a girl to believe that she is empowered within in order for men to believe that she's empowered and that's exactly like ma'am said that you have to believe that you're equal to be treated equally and whether i have a boy or a girl that is exactly what is going to be taught to them and a secret is my husband wants a girl very badly <laughs> and i said i don't have any control on that anymore <laughs> but, but um yeah so thank you very much again for having me here and uh, you know sharing the little part of my my story but also being a witness to so many inspiring stories thank you uh, thank you very very much sanya